a, he's a great little package, Mitchie, so far. Really been impressed on how he's taken on the professional habits required to play at the level and how much he's really applying himself to his profession at the moment. So he, he's had a great start to his time at the club and I think he's really fitting in well with the group. Oh, he's, a, he's a small forward um, that also has got the ability to go into the midfield. Um, really loves the contested ball situation, really good with his hands in tight. So um, that's what's probably been his highlights uh, through, his, through his playing so far. Uh, VFL wise, he's been playing in the midfield with half forward as well. So there's that midfield half forward role he's probably going to play for us going forward. Oh, I think just his tenacity around the ball, his intensity, um, his appetite for the contest are all really high and he's really led the way for such a young, a young man. He's really led the way for our VFL side in a lot of those areas going forward. Um, had a really good game on the weekend, not only gathering possessions but um, also his tackle count and um, he's just a, yeah, his ability to apply pressure to the opposition and then get forward and be creative with his hands for, for teammates has been really valuable. Yeah, and we want, uh, I suppose, players with a lot of flexibility and we think we've got that with um, Lockie Hunter and Nathan Rovat and Jake String and all those guys will potentially and hopefully go through the midfield for big chunks of the play going forward when they become more mature players and Mitch Honeychurch is definitely in that bracket, um, very similar to Luke Dallas as well. So we want a real flexible side and I think it's good that as a coaching staff we have the ability to throw players in a variety of positions. It, it makes us unpredictable to the opposition and also allows us to change things on game day when they're not going our way.